Hello everybody and welcome to the English course. Remember that this course belongs to the program Vamos para la Universidad, right? So remember that we are here to study English, to learn and to enjoy these sessions. I want to start this session saying hello to some of the institutions that cannot see the class in this moment but that they observe the class by YouTube. Okay, so in this way, I'm going to say hello to Institución Educativa Atanasio Girardot in Girardota, Institución Educativa Guillermo Aguilar in Yolombo, Institución Educativa Santa Rosa de Lima from Giraldo, Institución Educativa La Esmeralda in El Bagre, Institución Educativa Colombia in Carepa, Institución Educativa Cecilia Duque de Duque in Abejorral and Institución Educativa Gabriela Mistral in Copacabana. Un saludo muy fuerte a estas instituciones que por cuestiones logísticas y de tiempo no nos pueden ver en vivo y en directo, pero que nos ven eh, en diferido por medio de los videos que montamos en YouTube. Un saludo muy especial a todos ellos. Y también, I want to say hello to the institutions and different students that are connected with us in this moment. For example, we have Institución Educativa Las Delicias, we have Institución Educativa Normal Group B in Amaga, and we have some students from the Institución Educativa Jose Maria Bernal in Caldas. So, uh, I want to say hello to all of you and welcome to this session. Okay? So, today, we are <coughs> starting our unit 2, right? Recuerden que en nuestra eh, anterior sesión estábamos terminando la unidad número 1. So, in this one, we are going to start eh, unit number 2. Number two, sorry. Today is our first week and the session number 1, right? So, in this session, we are going to focus on the family, right? So, I'm going to... Wait. Uh, let me... Okay, over here. I'm going to read the objectives and I'm going to show you a video, right? Entonces, les recuerdo pues así rápidamente, in Spanish. Eh, estamos empezando entonces la unidad número 2. Esta es la semana número 1. Y estos son los objetivos que tenemos para esta unidad. Voy a leerlos aquí. Dice, comprender ideas generales y específicas de un texto escrito sobre temas de presentación de personas significativas y sus entornos. Comprender ideas sobre temas relacionados con actividades cotidianas de personas significativas y en sus entornos. Y finalmente tenemos expresar de manera oral y escrita ideas acerca de personas significativas y sus entornos. Cuando hablamos de personas significativas, generalmente nos referimos a la familia, ¿cierto? También podemos hablar de amigos, etcétera, etcétera. Ok, so, uh, we are going to watch a video. Vamos a ver un video. That is like the introduction to the unit number two. Ok, so, uh, tell me, are you ready for the video? We have Institución Educativa Las Delicias. Yes, okay, very good. So, here we go. Hello, remember, remember me. I am, I am Simon. Simon. I am really happy you have accomplished Unit 1. Welcome to Unit 2. In this unit, we will be learning how to introduce other people and describe them. In this part, we will also learn to express ideas about what other people do in their daily life and in their free time. We are going to do some practice exercises to reinforce concepts and some additional exercises to check what we have learned so far. You know, I am really glad your English performance is getting much better. Now, it's time to start with Unit 2. What are we waiting for? Let's go for it! Okay, 
So, did you watch the video? I have some questions. What did you get from the video? ¿Quién me estaba diciendo this character, uh, Simon, about the unit 2? ¿Qué nos dijo Simon en ese video? So, please tell me in the chat. Oh, we have an, uh, another institution that is connected with us. Hello, Institución Educativa Francisco Abel Gallego. Welcome to the session and let's participate. We were watching a video, right? We were watching a video because we are going. We are. Uh, we are going to start unit number two. Ok, entonces ahí nos contaba un poquito sobre lo que vamos a hacer en esta unidad, que vamos a aprender a hablar de personas significativas y actividades cotidianas que esas personas hacen. Ok, we have here, in this unit, we will describe all these people that are significant for us. Very good. We will describe. Describiremos personas que son significativas para nosotros. Ok, very good institución educativa Las Delicias. So, I'm going to move, I'm going to move over here, and I have this actividad introductoria or this warm-up. We are going to pay attention to this image, right? And we are going to try to answer these questions. Okay? Lo van a hacer primero allá con un compañero, y luego vamos a hacer la participación en el chat. Where are these people? What do you think? Where are they? Are they in the park? Okay. Are they maybe in the supermarket? I don't know. Let's talk with a classmate. Okay, por aquí no están diciendo they are at home. They are in the living room. Very good. Okay. Well, let's say that they are in the living room and they are at home. Very good participation. Who are these people? What do you think? Who are these people? Who are they? Are they students? Maybe are they, I don't know, doctors? What do you think? Okay, por aquí nos dicen. They are the mother and her son. Do you agree? ¿Están de acuerdo? ¿Qué opinan los demás? Is, is she a mother? Yes or not? Okay, normal group. B nos dice yes, and this is the sun, okay? So, we, we have already answered this question, ¿cierto? Ya respondimos esa pregunta. Are they friends? What do you think? Vamos a ver, aquí tenemos nueve personas conectadas. ¿Qué nos dicen? Are they friends? Yes or no? What do you think? We have, for example, Salgado, we have... Sánchez, Juan Pablo, Normal, Group B, Francisco Abel Gallego. Are they friends? Normal nos dice, no, they are not friends. Ok. Francisco Abel Gallego nos dice, yes. Ok. Let's see. Friends. Are they friends? Yes or not? Ok, son amigos. Por aquí nos dicen yes. Otros nos dicen yes. They are good friends. Son muy buenos amigos. Ok. Are they relatives? Do you know what is relatives? Is it clear? Es claro what is the meaning of relatives? Ok. What do you think? I'm waiting for your answers. Ok, normal no dice no. Ok, vamos a ver. Si está claro, what is the meaning of relatives? What is the meaning of relatives? Please, help me. 
What is this? Relatives. Do you know what is the meaning? Okay. Nobody, please tell me. Don't let me fall. Ok, very good. Entonces, por aquí nos dicen, viene algo como de relación, por ahí va la cosa. Cuando lo pasamos al español, ese relatives es, significa parientes, ok, o familiares, ok. So, are they friends? Bueno, son amigos, mamá e hijo pueden tener una relación también, aparte de ser familiares, ser amigos, ok. And are they relatives? Yes, decimos que sí, que es la mamá y el hijo, son parientes, son familia. And the last question. <coughs> What are they doing? What do you think? What are they doing? What do you think? Are, you, are they dancing? Are they dancing? Are they playing the guitar? Are they eating? Ok, por aquí, por aquí nos dicen, they are talk. Recuerden qué ocurre cuando queremos, de, cuando queremos decir que están hablando. Y utilizamos el verbo to be. They are. They are. ¿Qué nos faltará por ahí? They are what? Very good. The ing. Ok. They are talking. Very good. Recuerden muy importante eso. Cada vez que vayamos a decir eh, que algo está pasando en el momento, como por de, y en español terminan con el ando endo, entonces ellos están caminando, en este caso ellos están hablando, tenemos que ponerle la ing a ese verbo. They are talking. Very good institución educativa Francisco Abel Gallego and the student Juan Pablo. ¿Ok? So, we have a lot of information, right? Tenemos información. Is the conversation. Yes. Is the mother talking with the son, right? Tenemos entonces una conversación entre la mamá que está hablando con el hijo. Okay. Is it clear? Yes or not? Okay. Very good. So, what are we going to do now? We are going to... Listen a record, ¿ok? Antes de leer la conversación, que es esta actividad que tenemos aquí, vamos a escucharla, ¿ok? We are going to listen the conversation. Vamos a escuchar un audio. Es un poquito larguito, más o menos unos dos o tres minutos, ¿ok? But the idea is to pay attention. Vamos a prestarle mucha atención a ese audio. Yo les voy a ir a, les voy a, les voy a dar una pistica, ¿ok? Les voy a dar una pista sobre lo que va a tratar el audio. El audio, en el audio van a hablar de tres, de tres personas o de tres familias, ¿ok? ¿Qué les recomiendo? Que saquen una hojita en el cuaderno y hacen... Eh, una, pueden hacer una tablita, pueden hacer unas columnas para que, para que vayan anotando la información de esas personas, ¿cierto? Por ejemplo, la número 1, la número 2, la número 3, aquí van a dar unos nombres, entonces la idea es que ustedes vayan tomando apuntes porque son muchas personas y hay mucha información, ¿ok? So, we are going to, I'm going to play the record, vamos a escuchar el audio, eh, traten de ir tomando apuntes, lo vamos a colocar varias veces para que nos familiaricemos pues con el audio y podamos tomar bastantes apuntes, ok? Esta es una forma que yo tengo pues como organizar la información, pero cada uno lo puede hacer de la manera que le parezca mejor. So, are you ready for the listening? Are you ready to, to listen the, the conversation? Yes, okay, very good. So please pay attention and focus on getting the information, okay? Hello, mom. This is Jose's family. His mother is Lucia. 
She is 45 years old. She is tall. She weighs 60 kilos. Her hair is black. Her eyes are black. Her nose is big. She is shy, modest, and responsible. She loves walking. Hmm. Tell me more about Jose's family. Mom, he also lives with his aunt and brother. His aunt is Anna. She is 55 years old. She is tall. She weighs 80 kilos. Her hair is brown. Her eyes are brown. Her nose is big. She is honest, hardworking, and cute. She works as a nurse. She lives in Sopetran. And what about his brother Pedro? His brother is Pedro. He is 18 years old. He is tall. He weighs 60 kilos. His hair is long and black. His eyes are black. His nose is average size. He is lazy, talkative, and funny. He hates onions. He loves soccer. Tell me about your friend Fernanda. Who does she live with? Fernanda lives with her mother, her father, and her sister. Her mother is Patricia. She is 47 years old. She is short. She weighs 70 kilos. Her hair is blonde. Her eyes are blue. Her nose is small. She is brave, messy, and kind. She lives in Begachi, though she is from Yali. She lives with her husband and two daughters. Very interesting. Tell me more, dear son. Her father is Carlos. He is 50 years old. He is tall. He weighs 90 kilos. His hair is short and black. His eyes are black. His nose is average size. He is nice, funny, and intelligent. He likes playing chess. He works as a police officer. He is from Turbo and lives there. Her sister is Aleja. She is nine years old. She is short. She weighs 40 kilos. Her hair is blonde. Her eyes are green. Her nose is small. She is friendly, charming, and organized. She is in fifth grade. She goes to Santa Maria school. She hates messy people. She plays tennis. What about your other friend, Juan Pablo? Juan Pablo lives with his mother, his cousin, and his grandfather. His mother is Sandra. She is 38 years old. She is short. She weighs 52 kilos. Her hair is black. Her eyes are black. Her nose is big. She is happy, funny, and nice. She lives in Turbo. She loves dancing. She likes fish. She hates reading. Dear mom, he lives with his cousin Maria. She is two years old. Her eyes are brown. Her nose is thin. She is talkative, restless, and cute. She goes to the kindergarten. She lives in Turbo. She plays the guitar. She loves music. She doesn't like vegetables. She likes ice cream. His grandfather is Juan. He is 69 years old. He is tall. He weighs 80 kilos. His hair is white. His eyes are black. He is talkative and funny. He hates lazy people. He does not like reggaeton music. He has a farm in Apartado. He loves fish. Okay, so you see, it's kind of long, right? Four minutes more or less. Well, um, I want to like to do the listening by parts, okay? So first of all, I want that you tell me the, th the name of the three people that are in the conversation, the main person. Recuerden que en esta... En este audio hablan de muchas personas, pero esas personas están relacionadas con tres personas especial. Ok, well, what is, ok, we are going to do it in, the, in, in order. The first person, el nombre de la primera persona de la que, de la que hablan. Ok, what do you think? 
Nobody. Ok, entonces vamos a hacerlo así. El audio es una persona que está hablando sobre la familia de tres amigos. ¿Cuál es el nombre de esos tres amigos? Juan Pablo. Very good. Juan Pablo. Right? Very good. Ok. Fernanda. And I'm going to play it again. Lo dicen al principio de la conversación. Ok, so listen. Hello, Hello mom. This, This is Jose's family. family. His, His mother, mother is... Very good. Yes, very good. Institución Educativa de las Delicias. And Juan Pablo. This is Jose's family. Ok, so we have three... Uh, people, we have Jose, Fernanda, and Juan Pablo. So, in the first part, they talk about Jose's family. ¿Cierto? En la primera parte hablan de la familia de Jose. Then they talk about Fernanda's family. And then they talk about Juan Pablo's family. Okay? So, we are going to listen about Jose. Vamos ahora a enfocarnos solamente en José. Yo lo voy a pausar cuando terminen los de José para ver qué tantos apuntes alcanzamos a coger. Right? So, very good. Let's continue. This is Lucia. Hello, mom. This is Jose's family. His mother is Lucia. She is 45 years old. She is tall. She weighs 60 kilos. Her hair is black. Her eyes are black. Her nose is big, she is shy, modest, and responsible. She loves walking. Hmm, tell me more about Jose's family. Mom, he also lives with his aunt and brother. His aunt is Anna. She is 55 years old. She is tall, she weighs 80 kilos. Her hair is brown, her eyes are brown, her nose is big. She is honest, hardworking, and cute. She works as a nurse. She lives in Sopetran. And what about his brother Pedro? His brother is Pedro. He is 18 years old. He is tall. He weighs 60 kilos. His hair is long and black. His eyes are black. His nose is average size. He is lazy, talkative, and funny. He hates onions. He loves soccer. Tell me about your friend Fernanda. Ok, hasta ahí, ¿cierto? Ahí hablaron de, Luz, de la familia de José. Por aquí yo escribí Lucía. And normal group B, tell me. Lucía is the mother. Very good. Who is Pedro? Pedro, who is Pedro? Who can tell me, please? Who is Pedro? Can you please help me? I don't remember. Okay, por aquí me dicen, Pedro is the brother. Okay, very good. Muy bien, por aquí hay algunos que me están escribiendo, por ejemplo, que es lazy, que es responsible. Muy bien, ustedes van tomando sus apuntes allá en el cuaderno que después los vamos a necesitar. And, very good. Pedro is the brother. Lucía is the mother. Very good. And what about Ana? What about Ana? Who is Ana? Ana is the sister. Are you sure? I, I don't remember. Please help me. Ana is the sister. Ana is Jose's sister. Ana es la hermana de Jose. Hmm. I, I'm not sure. Las delicias nos dice, is the aunt. The aunt. Okay. Well, vamos a ir copiando aquí y ahora cuando tengamos el texto porque lo vamos a leer. Vamos a ir aclarando esas dudas. ¿Ok? 
Let's listen about Fernanda. Okay, let's listen about Fernanda. Does she live with? Fernanda lives with her mother, her father, and her sister. Her mother is Patricia. She. Okay. So please let's let's write the people who live with Fernanda. Mother. So the mother is Patricia. Okay, very good. Patricia. Her father is Carlos. Okay, let's continue listening. He is 47 years old. She is short. She weighs 70 kilos. Her hair is blonde. Her eyes are blue. Her nose is small. She is brave, messy, and kind. She lives in Begachi, though she is from Yali. She lives with her husband and two daughters. Very interesting. Tell me more, dear son. Her father is Carlos. He is 50 years old. He is tall. He weighs 90 kilos. His hair is short and black. His eyes are black. His nose is average size. He is nice, funny, and intelligent. He likes playing chess. He works as a police officer. He is from Turbo and lives there. Her sister is Aleja. She is nine years old. She is short. She weighs 40 kilos. Her hair is blonde. Her eyes are green. Her nose is small. She is friendly, charming, and organized. She is in fifth grade. She goes to Santa Maria school. She hates messy people. She plays tennis. What about your other friend, Juan Pablo? Juan Pablo lives with his mother, his cousin, and his grandfather. His mother is Sandra. She is 38 years old. She is short. She weighs 52 kilos. Her hair is black. Her eyes are black. Her nose is big. Very good. She is happy, funny, and nice. She lives in Turbo. She loves dancing. She likes fish. She hates reading. Dear mom, he lives with his cousin Maria. She is two years old. Her eyes are brown. Her nose is thin. She is talkative, restless, and cute. She goes to the kindergarten. She lives in Turbo. She plays the guitar. She loves music. She doesn't like vegetables. She likes ice cream. His grandfather is Juan. He is 69 years old. He is tall. He weighs 80 kilos. His hair is white. His eyes are black. He is talkative and funny. He hates lazy people. He does not like reggaeton music. He has a farm in Apartado. He loves fish. Okay, very good. So now we have the people that are part or that make part of the family of each one of, of each of the characters okay here we have for example jose's family lucia anna and pedro fernanda's family uh, patricia carlos and aleja and juan pablo's family sandra maria and juan okay very good ahora vamos a pasar a la lectura para que ustedes allá vayan mirando en los apuntes ¿Qué tanta información alcanzaron a coger en estas dos veces que hemos escuchado el audio? ¿Qué van a ir haciendo? Como hay tantos personajes, van a ir anotando la información que corresponde a cada personaje. Porque luego tenemos un ejercicio en el que vamos a necesitar toda esa información. ¿Ok? So, now, let's move to the presentation. Uh, <coughs> Bueno, esta parte de la compartir información era lo que estábamos haciendo 
en, lo, en el otro tablero. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora? Vamos a leer lo que está aquí. ¿Cuál es la dinámica? Yo voy a volver a colocar el audio, ¿cierto? Para que ustedes vayan leyendo allá en su salón, en los que están en la casa, en sus casas. Van a ir escuchando el audio y van a ir leyendo, ¿cierto? Y van a ir anotando la información de cada uno de los personajes. Por ejemplo, aquí estamos en la familia de José, entonces Lucía, entonces vamos a anotar por ahí la edad de Lucía es tal, eh, si es alta, si es bajita, cuánto pesa, el color del pelo, etcétera, etcétera. ¿Ok? So here we go. Remember, very important, muy importante que hagan el ejercicio de leer mientras escuchan. ¿Ok? Very good. Hello, mom. This is Jose's family. His mother is Lucia. She is 45 years old. She is tall. She weighs 60 kilos. Her hair is black. Her eyes are black. Her nose is big. She is shy, modest, and responsible. She loves walking. Okay. Clear? Yes, very good. Muy importante hacer el ejercicio para que empecemos a mirar cómo se pronuncia esto, ¿cierto? Mientras yo lo voy leyendo. Ok, so here we have the information about Lucia, the mother of, the mother of José. Yes, José's mother. Ok, very good. Recuerden, tomen los apuntes, lo más importante, no tienen que escribir todas las palabras. Simplemente, por ejemplo, colocan Lucia, edad, 45, eh, is tall, eh, 60 kilos, Her hair is black, or hair black, eyes black, nose big, uh, shy, modest, responsible, and loves walking. Ok, para que vayamos eh, haciéndole una forma rápida para poder hacer la, la, la actividad final. Ok, so I'm going to continue, ok. Lucia. Now we continue with the listening. So please pay attention. Hmm. Tell me more about Jose's family. Mom, he also lives with his aunt and brother. His aunt is Anna. She is 55 years old. She is tall. She weighs 80 kilos. Her hair is brown. Her eyes are brown. Her nose is big. She is honest, hardworking and cute. She works as a nurse. She lives in Sopetran. Okay. So it's clear the information about Anna, right? And who is Anna? Is Jose's aunt. Right? Normal group is typing. Yes, very good. Is the aunt. The aunt. Okay. So let's continue to the other person. Okay, recuerden, van tomando apuntes de la información importante de cada personaje. Now we are going to talk about his brother Pedro. Okay. And what about his brother Pedro? His brother is Pedro. He is 18 years old. He is tall, he weighs 60 kilos, his hair is long and black, his eyes are black, his nose is average size, he is lazy, talkative and funny, he hates onions, he loves soccer. Tell me about your friend Fernanda, who does she live with? Okay, so now we have the information about Pedro, okay? We have the age, right? The physical description. Okay. Here more of the physical description. Physical description. Physical description. Well, they are talking about the personality. Okay. Likes on dislikes. Okay. So, are you ready to continue talking about Fernanda's family? Yes, please tell me. Okay, 
Are you ready? Are you following me? Vamos bien. Yes or not? Please tell me. Yes, ok, very good. Si voy pasando muy rápido las diapositivas, me dicen para no, para no pasarlas tan rápido. Ok. So, um, now we are going to start talking about Fernanda's family. Ok. Fernanda's family. So we are going to listen the record. Fernanda lives with her mother, her father, and her sister. Her mother is Patricia. She is 47 years old. She is short. She weighs 70 kilos. Her hair is blonde. Her eyes are blue. Her nose is small. She is brave, messy, and kind. She lives in Becachi, though she is from Yali. She lives with her husband and two daughters. Very interesting. Tell me more. Okay. So now they talked about Patricia, right? Who is Patricia? Who can tell me? Who is Patricia? Okay, I'm waiting for your answers. I want to know your answer because your participation is very important. Patricia is the mother. Very good. Normal group B. The mother. Very good. Francisco El Gallego. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. Don't worry. Thank you for telling me. Muy bien que me avisen porque aquí uno me doy cuenta cómo van ustedes allá tomando apuntes. Entonces paso muy rápido. Ok. Ahí voy a colocar entonces la parte de Patricia para que tomen los apuntes que necesiten. Okay, remember, here is the age, okay, the age, then physical description, look at this, description, personality, and the place where the person lives, okay, and more information about the family. Okay, very good, so please tell me when you are ready. Miren por acá, muy importante. Esta parte donde nos dicen She lives in, Vega, in Vegachi Though She is from Yali Cierto, una cosa es vivir en una ciudad Y otra cosa es haber nacido en esa ciudad Entonces miren que aquí hacemos la diferencia She lives in Vegachi She is from Yali Ok Here we have, for example um, the colors of the eyes, the hair, right? For example, here, physical description. Okay. So, uh, are you ready or do you need more time? Please tell me the chat. Ready? Okay. Don't worry, that's the idea. Okay, now I'm going to move to the other to the to the other slide when they are going to talk about another person. Now they are talk they are going to talk about Carlos. Okay, Carlos. So here we go. Dear son. Her father is Carlos. He is 50 years old. 
He is tall. He weighs 90 kilos. His hair is short and black. His eyes are black. His nose is average size. He is nice, funny and intelligent. He likes playing chess. He works as a police officer. He is from Turbo and lives there. Okay, very good. Now they are talking about Carlos. Okay? So, again, take notes. Recuerden tomar los apuntes. Cuando estén listos, me escriben en el chat. Yo mientras tanto voy a ir haciendo comentarios acá sobre esta información que tenemos. Okay. Very important, for example, the average. Muchas veces nosotros no sabemos decir, bueno, por ejemplo, eh, la, su nariz, ¿cierto? Vamos a hablar de nariz. ¿Es grande o es pequeña? Y nosotros decimos, no, es como normal. Eso lo podemos decir en inglés, the average size. Quiere decir que su nariz es del tamaño promedio, o sea, ni grande ni pequeña, simplemente de medium, right? Very good. So again, they have, for example, Carlos, that is her father, Fernanda's father, right? We have here the age, okay? Physical description. Todo esto lo tenemos de physical description very good then we have personality nice funny and intelligent you see cuando hablamos de la personalidad entonces hablamos por ejemplo de que es buena persona that is funny divertido intelligent right responsible here we have for example hobbies o lo que las personas hacen en el tiempo libre, ¿cierto? Que nosotros lo llamamos hobbies. O gustos, ¿cierto? She likes, for example, she likes playing soccer. Sorry, she likes playing chess. Do you know what is chess? Then, okay, here we have somebody that is writing. Then, sorry, that is typing in the chat. Very good, ajedrez. Chess is ajedrez. Very nice. We have, for example, here the profession, right? Profession. It's a police officer. He is from Turbo and lives there. He's from Turbo and lives in Turbo. Okay? So please tell me when you are ready. Okay, very good. So, normal group is ready. What about the other people? Okay, Francisco Gallego is ready. Okay, let's continue. Her sister is Aleja, right? So, I'm going to play the record. Her sister is Aleja. She is nine years old. She is short. She weighs 40 kilos. Her hair is blonde. Her eyes are green. Her nose is small. She is friendly, charming, and organized. She is in fifth grade. She goes to Santa Maria school. She hates messy people. She plays tennis. What about your other friend? Okay, now we have the information of Aleja, right? We have, again, the age, the age, the physical description, then personality, they are talking about the school, okay? Gente que no le gusta, messy people, gente desordenada, and she, play, she plays tennis, ok? So then we are going to talk about Juan Pablo, ok? About Juan Pablo. Tell me when you are ready. Ok, 
Okay, for example, here we have her nose is small. Miren que aquí ya decimos que la nariz es pequeña. Okay. Her eyes are green and her hair is blonde. You see, very interesting. Okay. Can I move to the other presentation? Yes, okay. So here we go. Now <clears throat> we are going to talk about the family of Juan Pablo. Okay. Juan Pablo. Juan Pablo lives with his mother, his cousin, and his grandfather. His mother is Sandra. She is 38 years old. She is short. She weighs 52 kilos. Her hair is black. Her eyes are black. Her nose is big. She is happy, funny, and nice. She lives in Turbo. She loves dancing. She likes fish. She hates reading. Okay, now we have the information about Sandra, that is Juan Pablo's mother, right? Here we have the age, physical description, the weight, right? the hair, the eyes, the nose, personality, happy, funny, and nice, lips in turbo, loves dancing, likes fish, and hates reading, okay? So we have very good information about these people. Okay, remember, recuerden tomar apuntes, lo más importante. <coughs> okay. Uh, are you ready? Can I move to the next presentation, to the next slide? Please tell me if yes or tell me no. Okay, you say yes. Okay, continue. Dear mom, he lives with his cousin Maria. She is two years old. Her eyes are brown, her nose is thin. She is talkative, restless and cute. She goes to the kindergarten. She lives in Turbo. She plays the guitar. She loves music. She doesn't like vegetables. She likes ice cream. His grandfather is Juan. He is 69 years old. He is tall. He weighs 80 kilos. His hair is white. His eyes are black. He's talkative and funny. He hates lazy people. He does not like reggaeton music. He has a farm in Apartado. He loves fish. Okay. Now we have the information about two people. This one and this one. This one is Maria, that is the cousin. And this one is the grandfather Juan, okay? So please, take notes, tomen apuntes, because then we are going to do another activity. Example, Maria. I'm going to underline the information. Two years, the eyes are brown, the nose is thin, Talkative, restless, and cute. Kindergarten, lives in turbo, plays the guitar, loves music, okay? 
doesn't like vegetables doesn't like vegetables well in my case I like vegetables okay. and she likes ice cream you see as all children como todos los niños y las niñas right they like ice cream okay now we have a different person the grandfather Juan 69 years old is tall weights 80 kilos okay um, the hair is white okay eyes are black talkative and funny he hates lazy people personas perezosas mm -mm. no he does not like reggaeton he does not like reggaeton music he has a farm in apartado right and he loves fish he loves fish okay are you ready did you write all the information okay i'm, wait, I'm waiting for your answers don't worry about that What do you think? What kind of music does the grandfather like? Si no le gusta el reggaeton, what kind of music does he like? ¿Qué tipo de música le gustaría a Juan, the grandfather of, of Juan Pablo? What do you think? Please tell me. Tell me in the chat. Okay, maybe pop. Okay. We have no reggaeton, but maybe pop. Like the folk, folk music, maybe rock music. I don't know, but very, okay, uh, salsa music. Okay. Very good for your participation. Hip hop music, you know, do, do you remember the the rap singer that we have that we had in the in a, in a previous class maybe that kind of music okay so uh, I think that you are ready for the for the activity right I'm going to pass to the next slide okay I'm going to pass to the next slide uh, so please some of you try to tell me that information for example, my significant others. Okay, romantic music, por acá me están diciendo. Cada uno de ustedes entonces va a compartir con el compañero, aquí al lado derecha, a la izquierda, whatever. Uh, for example, my mother is, my father is, my sister is, my brother is, my cousin is. Cada uno lo va a adaptar a su propia situación, ok? ok, we have interesting kind of music, for example, huasca, balada music, ok so, please, let's work on this activity van a compartir así rápidamente información con el compañero que tengan al lado le van a decir quiénes son sus significant others or your family, ok? and then, please, type in the chat, tell me in the chat because I want to write here some of the examples. For example, my mother is. Who can tell me? Give me the, the information. Somebody. Alguien que me dé la información del, de la mamá, el papá, la, los significant others. Okay, las delicias. Say, my mother is Marta. Okay. 
Por aquí me dicen Lucía. My father is Felipe. Very good. My father is Pedro. Ok, por aquí no dicen don't, I don't have brothers. Ok, Pedro. Normal group say, my brother is Horacio. I don't have, ¿cierto? I don't have. Very good. My brother is Sebastián. Very good. My brother is Sebastián. Oh, very good. Por aquí nos dicen. My best friend is Juana. Very good. My cousin is Christian. Very good. My cousin is Carlitos. Very good. Say hello to Carlitos and to Christian. Okay, I'm going to move because we are almost finishing the class. Okay. Now, we are going to do an exercise true or false. Ahora vamos a utilizar toda esa información que recogimos de la familia de José, de Fernanda y de Juan Pablo para hacer un ejercicio de falso y verdadero. Ok, so, it's very, very simple. Tenemos aquí una oración, tenemos que decir falso, true, true or false. Ok, so, number one. Juan Pablo's mother lives in Turbo. What do you think? True or false? Juan Pablo's mother lives in Turbo. False? Are you sure? Okay, you have false. Les recuerdo, esta actividad está montada en la plataforma. Ok. But I think that is not false. For example. His mother is Lucia. Oh, we are talking about Juan Pablo, right? Juan Pablo. Remember, we are talking about Juan Pablo. Juan Pablo lives with his mother. Uh, Juan Pablo. Sure, she wakes. Snow, she lives. She's happy. She lives in Turbo. Okay. We are talking. Remember, we are talking about Juan Pablo. So, true or false? Yes, it's true. La mamá de Juan Pablo vive en Turbo. True or false? What do you think? Yes, it's true. Ok. Let's move to the second. Recuerden que estamos hablando de Juan Pablo, o sea, del último de los personajes que hablamos. No estamos hablando de José, sino de Juan Pablo. Ok. His grandfather works in a farm. Yes or not? ¿Qué recuerdan el papá? ¿Qué dijeron del, del, del grandfather? Sorry. Grandfather. His grandfather works in a farm. True or false? Yes, we, let's say true. Okay, true. Let's continue with very good Francisco Abel Gallego. Okay, we have here true, 
true. Number three, his grandfather loves chicken. Recuerden que estamos hablando de Juan Pablo. Ok. His grandfather loves chicken. ¿Al abuelo de quién? De Juan Pablo. ¿Le gusta el pollo? Yes or not? And what happened with the participation? Please don't let me fall. True or false? What do you think? False. Very good. He doesn't love chicken. He likes fish. Okay. His cousin hates vegetables. Okay. Vegetables is true. Very good. Me van escribiendo ahí, por ejemplo, la 5. True or false, para no perderme con los números. Number 5. His cousin is a baby. Yes or not? Yes, it's a baby. Number six, his cousin studies in high school. False. Okay. Number seven, what do you think? His sister plays the guitar. ¿Qué habrán dicho de la guitar? Do you remember? No, it's true. Okay. Number eight. Jose's aunt works as a nurse. Ahora vamos a hablar de la familia de Jose. <coughs> true. Very good. Okay. So. Esto lo, van, lo deben hacer, recuerden que está montado también en la plataforma, unidad 2, semana 1. Tienen 20 oraciones que deben decir si es falso o verdadero. ¿Ok? Listo. Entonces vamos a dejarla hasta ahí para que ustedes sigan haciéndolo en la, en la plataforma. Recuerden que pueden entrar a la sección de la mochila y repasar los pronombres. ¿Para qué? Porque con este, eh, en la plataforma van a tener la actividad guiada, ¿cierto? Entonces recuerden que deben terminar la actividad que estábamos haciendo acá ahora, que era la de falso y verdadero. Y luego van a hacer la actividad de completar las líneas. Entonces, ¿qué van a hacer? Van a repasar... Van a repasar... Van a explorar el archivo de los pronombres que está en la mochila. Y luego, con la información de la lectura, ¿cierto? De la familia de Juan Pablo, de Fernanda y de José, ustedes deben completar esta información. Ustedes van a la plataforma, le dan clic aquí en la flechita y ahí les va a mostrar las opciones. Usted la, la selecciona, la que sea la correcta. And you have, tienen varias, varios ejercicios de los mismos, tienen 15 oraciones que ustedes deben completar en la plataforma. Ok, so, this is the, the, these are the activities that we have for this session. Recuerden, terminar el ejercicio de falso verdadero, and then realizar la actividad guiada con las oraciones. ¿Cierto? Que explorar la, la sección de los pronombres y luego completar ese ejercicio con la opción correcta. ¿Ok? So, thank you for your attention. Thank you for the participation. Uh, I want to say thank you to Institución Educativa Normal Superior Amagam, Group B, Institución Educativa Las Delicias, Institución Educativa Francisco Abel Gallego, and the different students from Institución Educativa José María Bernal who were in this session. También quiero dar las gracias a las instituciones que nos ven por diferido. Recordemos que estas son la Institución Atanasio Girardot en Girardota, Institución Educativa Guillermo Aguilar en Yolombó, Institución Educativa Santa Rosa de Lima en Giraldo, Institución Educativa La Esmeralda en El Bagre, Institución Educativa Colombia en Carepa, Institución Educativa Cecilia Duque de Duque en Abejorral, 
and institución educativa Gabriela Mistral in Copacabana. Thank you uh, for being part of this program and see you the next session. Bye bye.